Well, I think in terms of adult social care, the, the challenges are fairly universal in terms of uh, the scale of the uh, reduction in uh, finance available, but also the growth in the numbers of older people, the numbers of people with learning disabilities, the number of vulnerable people generally within communities means that the challenge um, of matching limited resources with a growing uh, demand for services is a, is a challenge facing all authorities really in the West Midlands and, and beyond. In the West Midlands, I think we've been really fortunate that through Improvement Efficiency West Midlands and ADAS, which is the, the Association of Directors of Adult Social Services, we've got a long history of working together and collaborating. And I think at the moment, as resources have got tighter, those, um, those networks in particular are, are, are vital to um, ensuring that people do continue to look forward, continue to look outside of their own particular authority and continue to find new ideas for dealing with complex problems. Well, I think for, for, for health in particular there's uncertainty because clearly they're going through massive uh, restructuring and reorganisation. Local authorities have been, I suppose, become accustomed to that continual change over the last, uh, over the last decade. And uh, what, you know, what, what comes out of it really is that there's some consistent themes for everybody around leadership, around the importance of people continuing to look forward and look for uh, innovation and different ways of doing things. And uh, that, that is the, you know, the key challenge, is how do you build the future leaders, the culture within the organisation to remain resilient and positive in an environment where clearly there's, um, you know, uh, you're dealing with the people who are most vulnerable in the community, who, you know, in terms of caring, in terms of making sure that they're uh, looked after is, a, is very challenging for the people who are doing it on a day-to-day -day basis. There's all sorts of things really around how uh, new technology and particularly social media, I think, provide opportunities not just for service, delivering services. So there's some great gadgets, there's some great things that people can use. So you can get on your iPhone, you can get on your, your iPad now in terms of your, your, uh, measuring your, your, your general levels of health, your heartbeat, your, your, uh, your blood pressure. But also in terms of um, sharing knowledge between organisations and how particularly people who are doing very challenging, you know, long hours in the day, how do they get to see good practice, how do they find out what other people are doing and actually again you know social media, things like the, Twitter, the increasing number of people using Twitter uh, just to make connections with each other.